everyone, it's me, Arthur Kane, just complimenting you. Rick Dope was one of my favorite movies of 2015. Oh, thank you so much. This is a change of pace from Dope, that's for sure. <laughs> yes, it's a little different. <laughs> How do you compress all of the confirmation hearings into under two hours? I can't even begin to imagine what your job was like. Yeah, I mean, it was, it was daunting. It was a challenge, both in terms of, of getting it, because it was, you know, recreating everything. It was also culling through you know, a lot of archive news footage and and also just trying to tell a story about, you know, the people that were involved. So there were a lot of lot of balls being juggled and, and it was definitely a challenge, but one that I'm, you know, I'm really excited by and one that I feel we were able to pull off. Uh, but it was, it was definitely, uh, it was definitely something. Yeah, it was definitely something. Carrie and Wendell, they become Anita Hill and yeah. Clarence Thomas. Yeah. Talk to me about bringing those performances to life. Yeah. You know, it's got to be such a challenge for them, but also for you. Well, I mean, we, you start with two amazing actors. And so that, you know, to have Wendell Pierce and Carrie Washington playing these two roles, that's about 90% of it are there, you know. I just sort of like come I in and I just try not to mess it up, you know. <laughs> so, like I just show up and hit the button. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm staying out of their way. But um, but no, I mean, I think we had a lot of conversations and about these characters. And we we both, we understood the, the gravity of the, the story and that we were dealing with living history. And so... I think they were they were both very attuned to who these people were and did and dug deeply into their lives, not both in terms of what was in the written history, but you know trying to get to the center of who these people were and and so we spent a lot of time just dealing with that because we all we all have our take on on the hearings, but uh, you know it's it's another challenge to sort of get to who these people really were outside of just sound bites and the things that we saw on uh, during the hearings. I'm 37. I remember yeah. when yeah. this happened. It's before the internet. It's before yeah, yeah, exactly. all of that. Yeah. You're introducing this whole story, a momentous event, mm -hmm. to a whole new generation. Yeah. What do you hope someone who really wasn't familiar with the Anita Hill and Clarence Thomas confirmation, what do you hope they take away from watching this? Well, one, I, you know, I, I hope that they take away that we have to always stay engaged in our political system uh, and and that it's it's when we we don't that you 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 sometimes get these types of situations that happen with Anita Hill and I think once um, people saw just how it looked whatever side you were uh, they understood that we had to make changes in how we represented ourselves uh, politically and as a and as a government and and everything else and so there are many conversations that are st have still being had today around race, around gender, uh, around how we govern ourselves, that I think this, this could be the, the beginning of a conversation. Um, and then just to honor, um, you know, the event and Anita Hill and, and Judge Thomas, who's a sitting Supreme Court Justice, and think about, you know, what this process is and how we want it to be, especially as we have a a new uh, nominee that's waiting to be uh, have some hearings maybe one day. <laughs>